Norfolk is renowned for its boundless skies, expansive horizons and network of canals and sandy beaches. Outdoor enthusiasts, notably bird watchers and boaters, are drawn to the county. However, there are a ton of other good reasons to go to Norfolk. There are wonderful medieval churches, intriguing museums and stately residences in addition to bustling beach resorts and a ton of kid-friendly activities. Farmers' markets are held frequently in historic towns, and nearly every charming village has a quaint tavern where you may enjoy a real brew. Even on the busiest summer day, there is always space for games, kite flying, or a family picnic in the dunes of Norfolk expensive sandy beaches, which are the area's main tourist attraction. Everyone can spend hours having fun wading in creeks, boating, crab digging and looking for cockles. However, Norfolk's shoreline is much more than just its beaches. In August, the sea lavender blooms in the vast saline marshes and deep pine forests creating a wild environment. Wild flowers like yellow horned poppies and sea peas with violet blossoms can be found and the bird life is incredibly diverse. For leisurely cycling, walking or driving tours, the undulating countryside and tranquil flint-built settlements in the interior are ideal. A visit to grand stately mansions is enjoyable, and the heart of practically every community is a breathtakingly magnificent medieval church. In addition to quirky shopping in lively Georgian villages like Burnham Market and Holt, you can always find a cozy pub with a parquet floor selling regional and superb local delicacies. Don't forget to look for strong cheeses, smoked seafood and honey with a salt marsh flavor. While you're enjoying these awesome drone shots, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. We are posting videos like this twice a week and we would hate for you to miss it. The Norfolk Broads network of waterways is the country's crown treasure, and medieval pit diggers are the reasons for that. The huge digging trenches that were left behind were gradually filled with water to create the network of wetlands and national park that we see today. One of the greatest ways to explore the Broads is from the water, and there are many alternatives available, including sailing, motorboating, relaxing cruises and wildlife excursions. Seaside cafes and restaurants in Britain frequently fall short in the food department by neglecting to utilize the nearby fresh fish or the shellfish that might be collected from nearby coasts. However, you'll discover that many of Norfolk's waterfront bars and restaurants have improved. In fact, Norfolk as a whole has advanced significantly. High streets, delis and farmers market, like those in Swaffham and Creek Abbey, can help you put together a delectable picnic. Gastropubs offer traditional dishes with a modern twist, and hotel restaurants offer fine dining. Local foods like Brancaster oysters, some fear from sea marshes and the renowned, delectably sweet Cromer crab are frequently included on menus. Additionally, the gris blue cockles, known as Tilky Blues, 
are famous in the coastal town of Stivke. Norfolk is the best place in the world for bird life. A variety of local and migratory birds can find the perfect habitat all year long in the marshes, forests, heathland and shoreline. There are countless wildlife reserves, many of which have excellent visitor centers and observation decks that provide information on guided tours and the most recent sightings. The Norfolk Broads will excite avid bird watchers. The reed beds and water meadows of Hikling Broad are home to bitterns, birded teeth and marsh harriers, as well as grebes, herons and kingfishers.